Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. Today I'm going to show you how to grade students using a discussion forum by using ratings with a grade for doing their work. It's up to you how you evaluate them, but generally I view their video and if they've gone through everything that I added in the instructions, they get a hundred. No in between grades, a hundred or they have to redo it once again. Going to show you how easy it is to grade students through the discussion forums without having to go through any other kind of grading. So here I am in the discussion form of the course. I'm in, of course, as a teacher. This is uh, the form. Notice the form name, sharing cart block, and then the instructions not going to display them, but I could. Let me continue down to uh, what's here. You know what, maybe I will add that, even though it takes a lot of room, but you'll see what it looks like. Availability, no restrictions on that. Attachments, I do not require attachments. Uh, because it takes time to download and upload. That's why I don't use assignments. I use the forms and students create their work using the form. In this case, they need to paste a video tutorial that they created and upload to Vimeo or YouTube. Uh, subscription tracking, everything is fine here. I'm going to go to the whole grading and stay away from it. I'll explain in another video tutorial why. I'm going to go to the ratings. The ratings are just below that. This is uh, Moodle 3.11.6 on a theme called REMUI by Ed Weiser. So go into ratings notice right now. It's open and what I have in front of me and you can go into the question marks always to get more information on that. Notice I generally, let me open it up for you in a second, add maximum ratings, which means that if they do it a few times, I can take care of that. Let me open it up so you see what's here. When I open it up, I'll see the fall. No ratings, but I do want ratings. Average, you can do that. Count of ratings the maximum which I use, minimum, and the sum of ratings. It's up to you. If you've got questions on that, use the question mark that Moodle has so graciously added so that you can learn more about that. Okay, so let's uh, open up the question mark so you can see what's here. And if you have questions, feel free to ask me. So here is the list. Average of ratings, the mean of all rating. And in other words, it's explained. Next, you're going to decide what system you'd like to use to grade your students. Again, you can go to the question mark here and get more information about that. Or you can open up the type and see what's there. There's point, which I always use, scale or none. Again, you don't have to have anything here. I add 100 because that's how I grade. I don't restrict any items. Not going to restrict. I don't use the categorize. I used to use it because it messes up the grade book, but you're welcome to use that. The grade to pass, notice the question mark with an explanation is 100 in my case. Um, it's not grouped yet no restrictions and the activity completion is very important because this is where you connect the grade with the requirement activity completion and I generally go on with this and it's a criteria that's available in the course completion as well as for badges so keep that in mind Another thing to keep in mind is that you do this ahead of time. All right, there's a question mark for the completion tracking. Notice I'm going to open this up so you can see what's there. Students can manually, I rarely do that. Do not indicate no. 
two, I go for when I grade students, show activities and complete when conditions are met. And the conditions are the grade. Now here, notice what you're required to do. You open this up. Notice there's no question mark there, but you can ask me in the comment box of this YouTube video. All right, so let's uh, go into grade not required is not a good thing. I'm going to grade by rating, not whole form rating. Once you do this a few times, you'll get used to it and it'll be uh, easy. And then you can decide if you want to have other criteria such as, and then you take off these radio buttons. You might have students must create discussions, one or more. Student must post replies, one or more. It's up to you how you do this. In my case, I'm going to leave it for now. And then you'll see how it appears. Save and display. All right, so notice what's here now. This is what students will view. They need to view it, yes to create a post and receive a grade. We're going to go into the settings over here now and make some changes. Okay, the view is not something that I want them to have to do. Going to the edit, scroll down into the uh, activity completion requirements and notice uh, going to untick this required to view because of course they'll be able to once they get a grade they've done everything so I'm gonna leave everything out so that they're only required to get a grade which means that they have to do something so receive a grade and these are the conditions for receiving a grade and that's it uh, looking forward to seeing your discussion forms and how you use them to grade your students